all about tech. Certainly is. Nearly 400 companies uh, spanning 15 product categories are in the city for the Asia Consumer Electronics Show. Akiko Fujito is joining us from there with all the buzz on the ground there this morning. Akiko, good morning. Good morning to you, Oriol and Martin. Certainly a busy uh, center here uh, with about 30,000 attendees expected for that second annual CES Asia and innovation connectivity. Internet things, uh, the big theme here for the second annual uh, event. But one of the things we're also talking about is online education. This is a booming market here in China. Reached potential of $6 billion last year alone. There are 9,500 online education companies in China alone. Uh, now, though, I'm joined by one of the leading uh, one of the leaders here in that online education platform, Yumi World, Michael Lee, of course, is the founder of the company. And I just mentioned this number, 9,500 online tech companies. How do you compete in such a crowded ed tech field? Well, you know, obviously, um, we have a good partners here in China. Uh, China Mobile, um, the world's largest mobile service provider, is our strategic uh, partner. And then we have the leading universities, uh, and the teachers university to be on our side, um, which is very important of you know doing business in this side of the world. Help us understand how Yumi World is different from some of the other online education platforms out there. Well, first of all, we were the first one to introduce gamification and adaptive learning um, in China, and when we started, gamification was like like playing video games. And then adaptive learning was just the best word. We put the two together, the result was dramatic. We were able to engage our student users, which is like winning part of the game in, in our business. You certainly have the numbers on your side. You talk about your partnership with China Mobile. They have an online app, and that alone, you said, has 90 million paid subscribers. You look at the disposable income, 30% used for online education or just education in general but one of the issues has been the concern of profitability there are so many education companies online ed companies out there but they're not making money well obviously that's always a problem facing um, any internet companies how to monetize your users um, we're lucky um, that we got China Mobile on our side, which is really an endorsement. Um, as you know, China Mobile is a state-owned company, so being a partner with China Mobile um, gets us a lot of credibility. And so, you know, so much of this talk, even with, with tech and consumer gadgets, comes the larger theme here, which is the, the slowdown of the Chinese economy. How do you see this affecting your specific industry? Would you say in some ways it's recession proof because people are still willing to spend a lot of money to get their kids into these big schools? Well, um, it's very important to know that Chinese family, they spend a higher proportion um, of their disposable household income on education uh, at 30 percent um, versus like you were talking about like 17% for Korea and 10% for Japan. So Chinese family, they realize education is extremely important. And there is an, I, I know right now the focus is K through 12, uh, but there is this increasing interest within Chinese students to go abroad instead of aiming for those Chinese universities. How are you adapting to that? Are you looking to perhaps bring your platform abroad in some way, or is the domestic market big enough for you to survive here? Well, at this moment, we're pretty focused on the Chinese market, but we do have another product, which is an extension to our existing um, K-12 product, so we're definitely looking into expanding into America in the future. So looking at the numbers as they stand right now, $6 billion ed tech market in China, 9,500 tech companies, you've got a lot, but where is the potential? How, how much greater do you think it can grow? Well, the, the education uh, markets in China, it's obviously the largest in the world with 220 million students. And it's generated like close to $300 billion in 2013. Um, an increase of $150 billion in um, 2009, so it's 100% increase. And obviously, like I said, you know, Chinese family, they spend a lot of money on education. So this market is definitely growing. And I, I kind of want to say this is actually a, a recession-proof uh, market. Okay, certainly a space that we will continue to watch. Michael Lee, appreciate you joining us here from you.